Uh, hi, Karan. Uh, nice to see you uh, virtual. And though we have not met, I think next time when you're in Goa, we definitely will meet up. Uh, in fact, uh, since 15 March, uh, the lockdown was, uh, Goa was first to announce lockdown uh, from 15 March and gradually it went and from 22nd, if not mistaken, the full India lockdown happened. Since then, the Goa tourism industry, the main industry in Goa, has been being effective drastically. Uh, after the initial, when the tourism start industry, the uh, government said, go ahead with the uh, lockdown, um, uh, open, open one, two, three. Uh, Goa, uh, overall India started opening up in month of July. So on the lot of requests, the uh, Goa allowed opening of tourism uh, from 1st August. And since then, we have not looked back in the sense that uh, initially when we started, it was with all the protocols. But what we saw that uh, with the protocols around the tourism industry was not picking up. No doubt it was a good for safety. But as cases came down, we persuaded government to remove the uh, procedure, of course, to follow the three mantra regularly by all the industry stakeholders. But September, they opened up, so the booking jumped from 4 to 5 percent to 15 percent. October, it went to 25, 35 percent in certain category of health. November was very good in sense that uh, being Diwali season and uh, uh, usually in the holiday season, Goa sees a uh, lot of uh, spurt in tourism. And we had uh, in certain hotels, in fact, in Diwali it was sold out. As you're aware, everything was sold out in Goa. And that during that time, only casino also opened around 15th of uh, November. So it helped gradually to increase into uh, more tourists and coming into Goa. And December will close down to maybe uh, uh, the certain days, of course, from now it will be sold out in days to come. But uh, one thing I'd like to say that the situation is evolving. It says that uh, registered hotels in Goa with the tourism department is around 4,100 plus, out of which 1,300 are only open. If you say room nights wise, then out of 47,000 room nights or around 27 are open. So till now 20,000 rooms are not yet open in Goa. And this is specifically in the smaller category in Goa, we have a classification A, B, C, D of government of uh, tourism. So in that category C and D, most of the hotels are not open. Being foreign tourists, uh, charter tourists and foreign tourists not allowed. So that has impacted Goa in big way. But uh, overall, uh, it, it, let's understand every one of us is a matter of survival for all of us. So this the way, and one thing I would like to bring to everybody's notice that Goa is the only state where they have not gone front and back. They, once they've started, they've gradually opened up all as per the MHA guidelines, except for swimming pools, which are uh, not allowed by MHA, and of course, uh, charter flights. Rest, whatever segments were open, they have been open, and then there's no night curfew, there has not been uh, any... Uh, protocol such, but government and the basically industry is following the protocols in their properties very strictly, which is attracting with word of mouth more tourists coming into Goa. And uh, if you see the track record of last three four months, Goa uh, there is increase in tourism, and I think I believe that is a uh, best state performing uh, tourism state performing in India because of the protocols which they are following and the overall the positivity around. Uh, Great. No, that's that's certainly very, very positive news and great to hear for all of us. Um, you touched upon international tourists obviously not coming in because, you know, they're not allowed to right now. There's no charters coming in as well. So the next question was that is domestic growth making up for the lack of international tourists? You know, when do you see international tourists getting back to Goa and what are the challenges going forward in that sense? Uh, see, one thing, you know, uh, domestic, uh, if you see the track record of Goa, industry perspective, because of foreign tourists, there is a more attraction of domestic tourists coming into Goa. So they see into different uh, ball game altogether. So we require foreign tourists to attract more domestic tourists. Secondly, what happens? One foreign tourist is equivalent to five domestic tourists because the foreign tourists which comes into Goa, they are long haul. They stay for minimum 15 days, 21 days, 45 days. So looking into that, the, it helps the multiplier effect is better with the foreign tourists, especially the smaller hotels, gets up a long-term booking. So which helps the Goan economy whole in the filling up their rooms also in a big way. Uh, we have been requesting the government to open up to allow uh, foreign tourists under a bubble, 
from specifically from Russia, and they can follow whatever protocols uh, they want. So even if they say they will announce, they will require at least one month's time to promote. So even if they announce, say, by first week of Jan, that from February we will allow, I think we can have two to three months of uh, foreign tourists also coming into Goa, which will help this whole smaller hotel, which are not yet open, to open up. And it will also attract more domestic tourists into Goa with the uh, things opening up, more things opening up and more uh, uh, positive messaging going in. I think it will help long way in the our survival. As I said, again, I will repeat the same thing, that it is a matter of survival for all of us. And whatever best we can do to survive each segment of industry, it will go a long way in making the, the overall tourism industry uh, uh, perform better. And economy in Goa, as you are aware, a uh, major industry uh, was mining and tourism. And with mining at standstill, I think tourism is the only industry which can generate uh, revenue for the people in general and government in general for welfare of state. Understood. Got it. Yeah, let's, let's hope that it opens up soon and that we see international tourists also come in Goa in the next few months. Um, my next question is about MICE. So Goa has been a favorite conference destination in the past. Um, you know, so we wanted to know that how much does MICE contribute to Goa tourism pre-COVID? And, uh, you know, what is your view on that now? Do you think that the summer of 2021 will mark a return to the good old days? Uh, in fact, uh, MICE tourism has uh, become a major tourism uh, industry in Goa and since it gives a round uh, year business. Because in off-season time, the value which uh, the brands of the hotel which are offering to go attracts a lot of MICE uh, tourism into Goa. Uh, because the airline fares are at, uh, at the, one of the best prices available during the uh, monsoons and when there's off-season. So even the hotel also gives a good rate. So it attracts a lot of MICE tourism and it helps in the filling up the rooms into Goa. Uh, unfortunately, as you're aware, the, right now everything is standstill. There are small events, small uh, uh, walking are happening. But I feel it will take a long time because the, psychologically people... Now, uh, what we uh, what in the industry also in Goa, I was interested. Uh, the people around also, they are, you know, of course, they are following protocol, but that uh, fear factor is there in mind. So, for my students to start in big way, because with the my uh, the entertainment industry also starts, and since there are small events in the hotels, small performances are there, then uh, you have uh, breakout uh, sessions for the uh, on the uh, different uh, corporate events. Uh, similarly, in the wedding fronts also, we have a small weddings also. So the expenditure also, which are spent, which are in the smaller in nature. So there's a lot of uh, psychological mind has to change once if we have to see the mice industry getting back to uh, pre-COVID uh, era. And I feel it will take some time and uh, uh, to change the mindset, it is going to uh, take a lot of doing from all of us to uh, send that you know, everything is safe and uh, let's start you know working way we are doing earlier and uh, overall uh, uh, what you call uh, that positive message on the event industry uh, uh, but i personally feel it will take some time reason being because there is a lot of uh, psychological fear factor in the people uh, in the right now what when tourism is started in small way they are coming in small groups so they feel safe within the uh, their families or within the friends so when we are talking about uh, groups coming in from different places, uh, it is a challenge. Uh, but one good news is with vaccination around, uh, I think uh, there will be a positive message which will coming in that as, uh, uh, we can start working normally, we've been doing it. But I feel to get it normalized, it will take another six months time uh, because uh, once vaccination comes in. So uh, maybe uh, when we talk the next December, I feel that the situation will be at least 70% normal, if not 100%. Yeah. I think we've all been doing a lot of these uh, conferences on Zoom, like this one. So we're all waiting, mm. waiting for actual live conferences in Goa, which is obviously a lot more fun. But, you know, I mean, I, I, as you said, we, we still have to wait for a few more months. Um, okay. So my next question, of course, I have to pull in sunburn somewhere, right? So Goa is where sunburn was born. <laughs> We're all hoping to see it back very soon. What role do you see played by events like Sunburn in the contribution of tourism to Goa? 
uh, see event like sunburn gives you a free branding throughout the world not throughout india also now, sunburn itself is a uh, among top 10 brands in the world when they are performing performance happens in goa so it helps out the filling up the rooms and it attracts a lot of tourists and it will, not only it gives you uh, the full uh, uh, india domestic uh, front because we don't have to pay any news channels or, uh, or any uh, newspaper to advertise Goa during that period. So it is this type of events are required because what happens, this gives you that uh, good, uh, feel good feeling. And Goa being a uh, party capital, it endorses the such events in big way. Now only the timing may be, you know, there may be different uh, view on the timing when it should be held. But I think overall these events are a must in Goa because it helps people prior to the event, after the event and during the event to all tourism industry. It may be hotel, it may be transport, it may be a restaurant or it may be small event performer. Everybody uh, gets uh, uh, good business during this period. And as I told you, it is a very good marketing event for the state of Goa, wherein we get uh, uh, publishers throughout India uh, with the right type of uh, positioning of Goa. Uh, and it helps to attract tourists round the clock also because of such events. And uh, what we suggest government so that, you know, at least we should have, you know, plan out especially such events in the off seasons also. So what happens, it helps, you know, covering up the, the business is not limited to uh, seasons. In season time, anyway, tourists are flocked into Goa. But because of these events, we can find the uh, season being extended and the hotels can get full up or all the operators in Goa or business in Goa. Uh, provisions round the year. So I think uh, uh, this is a uh, good program and uh, such should be event uh, uh, as a industry, we support the such programs. Of course, during COVID times uh, with social distancing, such events may be a challenge to be held. Uh, but overall, I think it to come, I think with uh, things getting normal, I think next uh, season definitely uh, we'll have sunburn and such more events happening in Goa. Uh, which will help uh, overall go on economy getting back to normal very soon. Absolutely, absolutely. I think you know we're all missing the fact that sunburn is not happening right now in Goa. Ordinarily, it will be happening in the next few days, and we're all waiting to bring sunburn back. Thank you so much for the kind words. Um, you know, so you mentioned season time. I'm just curious that what do you define as the season time in Goa? Which are the months that is considered as that? Uh, see, now, as Goa has been marketing a few years back, it's 365 days holiday. Right. So, season is down the year. But our peak season, which starts from October till March, because in that period, we have even the foreign tourists flocking in and even domestic tourists flocking in. So, because of that, uh, the, it starts picking up in the, the December, January, February, which is very peak. It starts from Diwali time. So, this is a season time, basically, which we talk about. But actually, it's a round the year destination. And the government and the industry has done well in marketing position in Goa to we see that tourists are around the clock in Goa. Maybe lesser in number, but they are around the year in, uh, in uh, Goa. And especially in monsoons, it is really a beautiful Goa uh, because it's a, you see different aspect of Goa in monsoons. Of course, you can't go to the beach or on the, in the sea. But overall, the, the scenic beauty which Goa can give to the eyes of the means for the uh, tourists as a per se, uh, it is uh, really uh, to be experienced. Absolutely. Okay, and last question before we're done, because there's a lot of uh, event professionals watching this. And, you know, we as Sunburn and Percept have had, have had a great partnership with the Goa government. How can professional event agencies collaborate with the TTAG for mutual benefit? Uh, in fact, uh, uh, TTAG is in forefront in uh, simplifying the procedure right now. So basically what we're looking into the simplifying the procedure so what we have put in that one point, uh, like how we have film shooting, which is handled by Entertainment Society of Goa. Similarly, maybe uh, uh, ESG or the, that body within the government, which under one point, under one window system, all permissions are given for all the events. It may be wedding or it may be beach wedding or the events which has been performed in the, uh, in the larger scale. Even in the hotels also, the many permissions are required. So what we are trying to do is simplifying the procedure with the help of the government. And government is giving us a year to sort out the things. I mean, so in, I definitely, I think in six months' time, you'll see a lot of um, uh, 
procedure has simplified in the event front uh, in Go. Great. Okay, that's our time for today. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think that was a great session for everybody watching. And great to meet you, as you said as well. And you know, I look forward to meeting you soon in person. Um, thank you to the organizers for having us as well. Thank you, Karan. Thank you very much.